all. Our condition in this country is infinitely better today than it was when we joined in the 1970s. Because a story has been woven that we are somehow trapped inside the EU and if we come out then we go into a glorious golden world where there are unicorns and big mountains of gold everywhere. But it's a fact that hate crimes have spiked up after the referendum. So I know we live, you know, in a very safe area, but I would like you to think of what life can be like for people, particularly low-paid workers, who live in strong leave areas or Polish communities, who've, you know, who still have been, you know, are still badly targeted. 23 months of uncertainty have proven to be an enormous burden for many of us. Many feel no longer safe due to the hostile environment, a term, a term coined by Theresa May, in 2012 to discourage immigration, a hostile environment which surrounds us and to which we'll still be greatly exposed when settled status is implemented. <coughs> a lot has been said these days about the Windrush generation and the shameful treatment of these British citizens by the Home Office. If British citizens are treated like this, what will be of us? to say very strongly that the Windrush came here as British subjects just like us. Other Europeans came here as EU citizens just like us and there have been other immigrants that have come to our country feeling fully welcome, feeling fully enthusiastic for this country, giving love and getting love back and wanting to help us build our country and we've let them down, and it's our national shame, and, and we should be saying that now. <laughs> our, attitude, our attitude has been wrong, and it's time to call it out very strongly as part of our national pride and as part of our national identity. Vote and an opportunity for people to reconsider whether in the light of whatever deal the government is able to secure, uh, this is still the course of action that they want. So we have to change people's minds and make them stop believing in Brexit. People are entitled to change their mind. and Governments have a duty to respond to people's changes of mind.